Okay, so what are my top tips? Number one, with saddle it, soreness and issues, don't change the saddle straight away. It can be really expensive and frustrating trying lots of different saddles. Let's make sure that you're doing all the other things that you can do to your, for yourself, first of all, before that expensive step. So first of all, make sure you're looking after yourself downstairs. Well, yeah, it, let's face it, if you were finish a really long three, four hour ride, hot and sweaty down there, the worst thing you can do is jump into a car in no cycling shorts and drive for say two hours home. Plenty of people, the issues start with that. And that gives us a, a lead into how you recover from it. So make, making sure that you're washing not too aggressively, uh, make sure you pat dry, and make sure that you give yourself a chance to recover in the undercarriage. You know, wearing tight lycra after wearing tight lycra on the right shore doesn't give, let air get there. And that leads us into, like, if you are suffering from folicitis, uh, try and give in a period of off of waxing or cut shaving really close and see if it helps. That can often lead to improvements in those sorts of issues. Having said all that, if you're still getting issues, my big thing, warning today, is if you're getting broken skin, i.e. you see blood, pus, anything like that, you need to stop cycling. Continuing on isn't going to help that situation. And at that point, you need to stop and find someone like myself or go to your GP or someone who can help out and understand why, why it's happening. But I'm telling you now, there is no joy in carrying on with those things and you can make things quite chronic. Okay, so you've done all those things and you're basically still having saddle issues. So let's go to the saddle. What is the right saddle for you? Million pound question. For me, three things to consider. Width, gap or no gap, and shape. So the width is really important for women. Generally, women, remember, have wider pelvises, so quite often they need, require wider support. You can go to some shops and they'll help you measure your pelvic width with like the retail sit bone device and things like that. Some other places can help with just trying out different saddles, you know. But width is really important because it's about getting too narrow, get issues too wide, get issues for finding the right cell that works for you. That leads into gap and no gap. Basically, it falls down to this. If you get central problems in the middle and uh, you find that you get saddle sore there because of pressure and you feel pressure on the bike, try a gap saddle. It may well work. They were designed for men, first of all, but there are better saddles coming out now that also work for women. If you don't get central pressure, you might get very fine with a no gap saddle or just a relief channel. The last thing is shape. Generally, more aggressive riders ride a more like a T-shaped saddle, generally in road riding, and there's a V-shaped saddle. If you, if you can rotate really well from your pelvis, like you're really, really flexible, I think those more aggressive saddles might be better for you, all right? If you know that you're not the most flexible person, you tend to sit in one place and you have a bit of a stiff back or pelvis, you're not very good at your stretching, it might mean, mean that you need more of a, a wider support um, saddle that has a lot of support at the back and it basically cups your sit bones and holds you, but you're not gonna be rotating massively forward, so the thinner nose might not be ideal for you. So to round up then, if you go through that process and it helps you, great. If it doesn't, then you might be one of the sort of people who need to come and see someone like myself because you might have unique biomechanics that mean you're getting saddle issues on one side or you just need a much more thorough detailed process to establish what is the right kit for you or is it you, as I said, you know, those different aspects maybe need to be assessed by somebody who knows what they're on about to get you in the optimal state. But have a go at those tips first of all. They're free and then help out a large majority of people.